Hello foodies, welcome to Foodland. In winter season, you see lots of fresh vegetables and I love leafy vegetables. So this is uh, one of the leafy vegetables is fenugreek leaves, which is methi leaves. And I have made green peas and methi pulao this time. So this is the complete meal for tonight. And um, I know methi has full of iron and um, I have also added some green peas in it. So let's check out the ingredients for methi butter pulao. All right, so let's check out the ingredients for methi butter pulao. I have taken two cups of Basmati rice. This is washed and soaked in about for 15 minutes. This is thinly chopped fenugreek leaves. This is methi. These are some frozen green peas. I've taken about a cup of frozen green peas. Two uh, tablespoons of ghee, pure ghee. 4 to 5 garlic cloves, this is roughly chopped, 2 green chilies, 2 tablespoons of coriander, 2 tablespoons of mint leaves, mint leaves are optional but if you have it home uh, just add it, half of a lemon, this is a lime I have taken but you can use lemon juice, 1 thinly sliced onion and let's move on to the dry spices. Nothing much here. I have added salt, one tablespoon, garam masala powder, one tablespoon, and these are some whole spices: just star anise, cinnamon stick, and peppercorns. I have two bay leaves and some cashews for garnishing. So let's check out how to make the methi butter pulao recipe. Okay, so I have my instant pot here, and I have turned the instant pot to saute mode so once it's hot I'm going to add and the same process you can do it in the pressure cooker so uh, let's add the star anise bay leaves cinnamon sticks and paper cones. let it splutter you can go ahead and add cashew nuts Once you see the cashew nuts are turning golden brown, let's move on to the next step and add green chilies and garlic cloves. Give that a good mix. Let's add onions. Once you see the onion is translucent, add chopped fenugreek leaves. I'm adding about two cups of fenugreek leaves. Give that a good mix. Time to add salt. One tablespoon of salt. Once you see the fenugreek leaves are wilted, add soaked rice. It's about two cups of soaked rice. Let's add our green peas. Time to add some lemon juice. This is almost half of a lemon. 
nice citrusy flavor vitamin C and fenugreek leaves have iron it's a perfect combination give that a good mix adding one tablespoon of garam masala powder just for that beautiful flavor and two cups of hot water I do not want to make it mushy so adding water almost the same quantity as rice I might need some more water and they're almost done give that a good stir and turn the, off the saute mode now and pressure cook it for about three minutes make sure your vent is on ceiling Press pressure cook button and adjust it to 3 minutes. And let's check it out. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous rice. So flavorful and so delicious. Look at this. Just fluffing this up with fork. So that the steam goes off and of course the rice grain you will see as whole. This beautiful rice is ready. Let's serve it in a dish. And here you go. I have garnished this with some coriander and mint and I have my cucumber and tomato on side and I also made yogurt raita. To go with my rice so here is my complete meal for tonight and um, I hope you like this methi mutter pulao recipe quick and easy recipe and full meal as you can see here so if you like this recipe please hit the like button share with your friends and families and do try it at home do not forget to subscribe and thank you so much stay tuned for the next recipe see you next time bye bye